if there was a crown to crown someone with for the champion or kingship or whatever you want to call it for biggest out of nowhere shocking NASCAR news, I would crown Jimmy Johnson in Legacy Motor Club because, oh my goodness, first of all, back in what, November, it was announced that Jimmy Johnson would become a part owner in what was formerly known as Petty GMS and rebranded into Legacy Motor Club and that Jimmy would be running part-time. That was out of nowhere. And then today, Jimmy Johnson and Legacy Motor Club have done it yet again. They will be switching from a Chevy to a Toyota. That's right, they're switching manufacturers. I cannot remember the last time. Well, I, I figured it out, but I guess Stuart Haas Racing, maybe? No, maybe it was Petty GMS, or back when it was Richard Petty Motorsports. This is like their third, second, third manufacturer change in the last decade or so. Remember, this team, back when it was Richard Petty Motorsports, they were Ford for the longest time. And then from 27 to 2018, uh, 2017 to 2018, they switched from Ford to Chevy. They were Chevy in 2018 with Bubba Wallace through this year and they've gone from a one car team to a two and a half car team because Jimmy Johnson runs part time and they've been Chevy ever since then. It made sense why Jimmy Johnson bought into a Chevy team. Jimmy Johnson raced for a Chevy team his entire career, won seven championships, 83 races with Chevrolet. It made sense for Jimmy Johnson to buy into a Chevrolet team. Now he's a Toyota guy. I don't know how to react to this, but it makes sense on the Toyota side of things. Toyota has been saying for a while now, they need to expand their numbers in the Cup Series. They don't have the numbers. They have four Joe Gibbs cars and two 2311 cars. That's six out of a 36 car field. They only have six cars. It's a problem for them. They have not had the numbers, especially at the super speedways. They usually have to follow the Chevys and the Fords and sometimes it doesn't work out for them. So they have been talking about David Wilson, kind of like the TRD guy, like their head guy. He's been talking about expanding, wanting to go find teams who want to switch manufacturers, go get Toyota, uh, get Toyota more teams. And it makes sense for them to go for a team like a legacy motor club, going for a two car team, you know, someone who they've been struggling this year. They had a really good the year last year, but they've been struggling this year to see if Maybe Toyota can help them. Maybe Toyota can change this team from a mid-pack team to a front runner. You never know, but it makes a lot of sense for Toyota. They've been looking to expand. They've been looking for a team to add to their list of their current teams, which once again is only two teams. So Toyota has been talking about expanding their numbers for a while. So from a Toyota perspective, it's not a shock. I was expecting someone to switch manufacturers just because Toyota has been kind of desperate to add to their numbers. But Legacy Motor Club was not really on my list. I could have seen a JTG Doherty switching back to a Toyota, maybe. Um, in a major shift, maybe an SHR. But even that was unlikely because they you know, have so many ties to Ford outside of just NASCAR uh, with Tony Stewart and all that. So I didn't really see them switching. But you know, just kind of looking through the NASCAR garage... I didn't know who Toyota was going to try to get. I was thinking a smaller team, though. Once again, I think JTG Doherty, I thought they were going to potentially snag them up. I thought maybe a long shot track house, but track house and Chevy have done so well. I don't think really they would want to change from Toyota because of all their success. Uh, obviously, Penske's been with Ford ever since Dodge left the sport. I uh, didn't really see that one happening. But obviously, we could talk all about the possibilities and how realistic I thought it is, or it was for each team. But Legacy Motor Club is going to be maybe one of it could could it be more could Toyota go out there and get a few more teams or maybe an extra team or two on their side but man this came out of nowhere let's read the press release from Plano Texas Toyota is pleased to announce a partnership with Legacy Motor Club beginning with the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season with Legacy MC2 entries, Toyota will field eight full-time Toyota Camry TRDs in NASCAR Cup Series action starting next season. All of us at Toyota are thrilled to add Legacy Motor Club to our NASCAR family, said Jack Hollis, Executive Vice President of Toyota Motor North America and President of Toyota Motor Sales. 
While Toyota's tenure in NASCAR has yielded on-track success, our proudest accomplishments are those relationships, uh, relationships that have been built off the racetrack. Jimmy Johnson and Maury Gallagher, along with the great club that Legacy MC is assembling, will be a great addition to our existing Cup Series team partners with Joe Gibbs Racing and 2311 Racing, who are truly part of our family. And they go on talk about the owners, Jimmy Johnson. He has a lot of success in NASCAR. Maury Gallagher, he's had his own success in the Truck Series as an owner, etc., etc. Maury Gallagher and I are ex very excited about the partnership with Toyota and TRD beginning in 2024, said the Legacy MC co-owner Jimmy Johnson. We admire and respect the level at which Toyota conducts their business in this sport and look forward to forging a new legacy for the future. I will always be appreciative to Chevrolet and everything we have accomplished together. I'm so thankful they, have a they took a chance on a kid from California so long ago and proud that the history books will forever memorialize our record-breaking success we shared. We are humbled and delighted to welcome Legacy Motor Club into the, NAS into the Toyota and TRD NASCAR family, said David Wilson, president of TRD USA. Jimmy Johnson and Maury Gallagher have impressed us with their long-term vision and commitment to building a championship-caliber organization. More importantly, their character and values are aligned with ours and our current Cup Series partners, Joe Gibbs Racing and 2311 Racing. Of course, we also look forward to being reunited with our old friends, Eric Jones and Noah Gregson. That's another kind of interesting point that you kind of forget about, but both the Jones and Gregson at some point in their career drove Toyotas. They both were with Kyle Busch Motorsports in the Truck Series before, of course, Kyle Busch made the move to Chevy and RCR. And, uh, you know, Jones was in a Toyota even through his Cup Series career. Remember, he went up to the Xfinity Series with Joe Gibbs Racing. He went to Furniture Row in his second car for a year before moving over to Joe Gibbs Racing full-time. And then in 2020, I believe, 2019 was his last year in the 20 car. And then 2020, Christopher Bell took over. I might, maybe it's a year later. I think, no, it was 2020 was Jones' last full year in the 20 then he made the switch to the 43 car after Bubba Wallace moved to 2311. And uh, yeah, now it looks like they're going to be back in Toyotas. I didn't even think of that until reading this press release here. But what a transition this could be. I really don't know what to expect. But if they truly are getting the same equipment as 2311 and Joe Gibbs Racing, they're getting that same investment, that same uh, attention. I think this could be a good move for them. As I said, Toyota, they're limited in numbers on the track, but maybe they can put it more in development and that could help Legacy Motor Club. As I said, they've really struggled this year. Last year, Jones was top 15 in points until the playoffs started and he missed, but once those playoffs started, he got a win. He competed for a couple wins last year, but uh, he looked really, really good. But this year's been a struggle. Noah Gregson struggled. Eric Jones has struggled. Maybe a combined two top 10s. Maybe. I don't I don't even know if they have two top tens, but it's been a struggle of a year for them. So uh, I don't know how long these discussions have been ongoing, uh, how long that they've been, you know, talking about potentially switching. But this is a major move. This is a major shift. And uh, for Jimmy Johnson, after all that time with Chevrolet to be going over to Toyota, curious to see what Chevrolet has to say to see if they'll be uh, upset or anything. I doubt it, but uh, I'm sure they'll they'll handle it business uh professionally like you know all that stuff but really shocking news here legacy motor club they they do they got their own little graphic here uh and uh this press release as i said but really out of nowhere but yeah uh i guess it's also a possibility you know toyota has a lot of young drivers as well that they try to move up through the ranks and sometimes there's just not the doors for them uh you know with only having i mean they used to only have four cup cars uh, well, five or six or however many, four or five, six, they've always had kind of that range of cup cars. Uh, and you know, you can only fill those seats in if you have a young driver who's killing it in trucks, killing it in Xfinity, who can fill those seats. But if you expand your cars, more possibilities for you. So, uh, and especially when Joe Gibbs, they've always had a solid lineup. I mean, Truex has been there for a few years now. Hamlin's always been there. Kyle Busch was there forever. Um, and then the 20 car, Kenseth was there for a long time until, um, you know, then it was Jones and then it was Bell and Bell's going to be there for a while. So Joe Gibbs has always had a strong lineup. So those seats are usually occupied for the long haul. Uh, but now that you have another team that can really change to see what you can do. And also, you know, looking at the 2311 side of things, 
Uh, Tyler Reddick's there for the long haul. Bubba Wallace probably there for the long haul. Uh, I don't know when his contract is up, but uh, yeah. Uh, now they have two up or two new seats uh, to potentially fill, but I think Gregson and Jones will be the drivers for those cars for at least a couple years. But after that, we'll see what they do. Uh, see if Toyota goes for anyone else, but really shocking news here. Uh, here on a, a Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday morning, what time is it? It's 12.34, it's Tuesday afternoon. Uh, but just out of nowhere, genuinely out of nowhere, Legacy Motor Club will be switching manufacturers from Chevrolet to Toyota starting next season. It's going to be weird seeing the 43 in the Toyota, and boy, I can't wait to hear the responses to that one. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this very shocking switch. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on potentially Gregson and Jones back in Toyotas, uh, what Toyota could potentially do in the long haul, and will they go for any more teams? Could they go after a bigger team like an SHR? Will they go for another kind of mid-pack team like a JTG? Let me know your thoughts, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be, but big shocking news here today.